into my eye. Okay. Hi, Gemini. So I'm G1 Writer with G1 Insights, and this is your life and love energy for um, the month of September and October. Okay. So I noticed, you know, the first couple of weeks of September is going to be interesting. Um, just because, you know, we're still dealing with a lot of planets that went retrograde. Sorry, I don't have time to do this. So, <laughs> we're still dealing with a lot of planets that went retrograde over the summer, which is about five planets. So, um, with that being said, it's been a lot of back and forth energy, a lot of probably even confusing energy, things being slowed down. Um, it's kind of like a, a roller coaster, especially for you, Gemini, trying to keep up with everyday mundane tasks, moving from trying to take care of your business to trying to still trying to figure life out, trying to be happy, trying to juggle everything. So what I've done was I'm still using animal energy just like we did in June, July, and August. Okay, so I'm going to do that again to start us off with our reading, and then we'll get deeper and deeper into everything as we go along, okay? So the first thing was the rabbit card here. Um, I'll show you guys how it looked. Uh-oh, no, sorry. Okay, all right. So it says opportunity, birth, and creativity. You, Gemini, are being guided to clean out your mental closet. Woo. Okay, this reminds me a lot of cancer energy. Release emotional baggage. Find your inner child and design your life your way. Open your eyes, your mind, and your heart to the opportunities around you. And stay in one spot long enough to appreciate the moment. All right, so with that being said, <laughs> we have the two of pinnacles here. Which is pretty common, you know, it's a lot going on, there's a lot to juggle with every single day, trying to go to school, trying to work, trying to deal with the children, trying to make sure all your bills are paid. So I believe, especially with the Two of Pentacles, it's very important that you balance your finances this season, okay? You don't want to rush or to be impulsive with making some type of drastic decision about your finances, whether that is moving, relocating for some of you, some of you, it could have a lot to do with um, a lot going on in your home, maybe for personal reasons. Now, there's nothing wrong with you um, redecorating. I mean, it's harvest season. A lot of people are redecorating. I know I am, right? So there's nothing wrong with that. You know, the thing is you want to do all these things before October get here because we know Mercury retrograde is coming right back around. October 13th, give or take a day. So up until then, what are we going to do? We have to remain balanced. We have to be focused, right? So it says here, too much going on at once. The need to make a decision. Consider a more playful approach. So once again, it even says the same thing here as well. Open your mind and your heart and your eyes to all the opportunities around you. Money should not be the only way that you are able to enjoy yourself. Look all around you and try to find other things and other meanings to your life. Try to find other things that make you happy and that can bring you a sense of peace and joy in your home at this time, okay? Money should not be the only reason. Because let me tell you something, honey. If you're not happy without money, when you get money and it's all gone, you're going to go right back to the reality of, I'm not happy within, okay? So it's so important to me to have balance and to monitor your relationship with money. Like, how is your relationship with your finances? That is going to be really, really um, important lesson the first two weeks of September. You will see that um, some of you will be impulsive, some of you won't, but some of you... Um, I don't want to say it's like you, I don't want to say you don't have your priorities straight. I just feel like you are bored um, in certain areas of your life. And so you're trying to make up for what you lack. And you're doing that by spending, overly spending, spending money on things that is unnecessary. Okay, watch out for delays that may happen um, the second week of September also. Um, again, which is why I said balance is going to be key, okay? 
Now, on the bright side here, it seems like love is definitely key here. There's going to be a lot of uh, conversations about love, a lot of concerns about love, um, being cautious, try, once again, trying to make a good business decision. We do have the four pinnacles here. So it's interesting how you're going from being impulsive to really, really trying your best to be cautious when it comes to how you are spending money. So that's good. That means you're learning the lesson, okay? Now, we also had the King of Cups here with the Knight of Cups. <laughs> so this is really beautiful, guys. This can definitely be a Pisces, Scorpio, or a Cancer. Um, but what I know about the Knight of Cups is that the Knight of Cups is definitely someone who can sweep you off your feet, make you feel really, really good and confident, and make you feel so beautiful and sexy, Okay, but everything that glitter isn't gold. And so, of course, even in the most beautiful relationship, there's going to be issues. You're going to have obstacles. You're going to have things that you need to overcome, things that you need to forgive each other for. There's going to be things that you need to work through. And if you really do love this person, you're going to find a way to make it work. Some of you, I feel a lot of boredom. I feel a lot of... It's not that you don't want to be with this person. It's not that you don't love them. I just feel like you're searching for something more meaningful when it comes to this relationship in general. You want something to kind of spice up the love life. You know, whether that is picking out new lingerie or whether that is, I mean, of course, if you're a man, you'll probably be picking out lingerie for your wife or your woman. Um, or that can be just simply traveling, you know, Traveling the world, doing something different, getting your mind off all this mundane stuff that is happening in and out every single day is the same old routine over and over. And so while that can be good for children, especially if you do have children, while that can be great for children, for you, you're such a free spirit. So I feel like you need a change of scenery every now and then. You need something to change. So if you look closely... Adding your animal energy here, it says, if you sit long enough in one spot to appreciate the moment, you know, you'll be surprised at what can come to you. So a lot of times it's really just about being patient and being grateful for what we do have. Don't spend so much time, you know, praying for things to come to you that is already here for you right now. Okay? And so with the King of Cups here, we are once again being guided to open up our hearts. Open up our minds. I want to show you guys what that say, okay? So, it's here more than once, my love. Open up your heart. Open up your mind. All right? It also says here to balance your emotions, even in love, to balance your emotions, okay? With the Knight of Cups, so you got to be careful because this is somebody who, um, especially for my single Geminis out there anyway, um, this can be a person who pretends like they got it all, like they can give you the world and, you know, ooh, I love you so much, you know. <sighs> but September is such a tricky month because you have to pay attention to details. And it doesn't help with that Libra energy here, too, because not only are we paying attention to details, thanks to Virgo, but we are... Um, also feeling a bit indecisive. So that explains why the Two of Pentacles is here. It explains why there's like a lot of indecisive energy going on. All right. But you, with the Knight of Cups, you got to be careful though, because this is a person who comes sweeps you off your feet and make you feel so good inside and, you know, you know, uh, make it seem like everything is so perfect and you're going to go, wow, that's exciting. I want to go. It looks fun. Yay. Right. But then you don't realize that they have ulterior motives. Don't do it to yourself. Everything that glitter is not gold. I feel like you have it all right in front of you, but you're chasing what seems to be the limelight, perfection. You want, you know, constant stimulation, adventure. And I feel like you're not getting that the way that you want. And so it caused a lot of confusion, a lot of disruption. I feel like for a lot of you, there could have even been um, a lot of financial issues in your love life. And although this is not just a reading solely about love, um, love is very strong here in finances. So it's a good chance that you and someone close could have been, um, if you guys haven't been fighting over money or having disagreements about who spent the most money, um, 
or maybe somebody, I don't know, I just feel like there's some concern here about money. Um, between you and somebody else, or maybe your spouse spent too much, or maybe they did something that they weren't supposed to do. Maybe you were relying on that money to, to put it somewhere else. Or maybe you spent the money and they were looking to spend that money somewhere else, okay? But either way, I feel like you guys will get through this. I mean, I do see the Ace of Cups here with the king, the Queen of Wands. So we do have like a lot of twin flame energy here, okay? Or there could just be like battle of the sexes. <laughs> but I do see the Ace of Cups here. So that means an overwhelming feeling, okay? An overwhelming feeling of love. I feel like... You're warm, you're graceful, you're feeling really good, you're feeling optimistic, okay? Don't underestimate yourself, though, Gemini, because once again, you are being guided to clean out your mental closet. Release emotional baggage. It's time to balance your emotions. So maybe if this is not someone new coming to some of you, then this just can mean simply learning to balance your emotions, taking love a bit more seriously than you do, taking your finances with your spouse a bit more seriously, not playing around so much, showing them that you really do care, that you're there for them, that you want what's best, okay? But it's definitely time to assert your independence and creativity. Some of you have not been working on your creativity the way that you should because like I said, because of like everyday routines. And that's why it's saying you need a playful approach. You need to get back out there and not saying to, you know, if you're covered up, of course, I'm not saying to leave that person. But what I'm saying is you, it's all about balance. Balancing your emotions, my love. The two of pentacles didn't come out for no reason. That's all about balance. Now, the first week of September, you know, we have, um, Merc no, we have Venus and Leo. Then we're going to have, uh, we had the, the the full moon in Pisces. Then the 12th of July, or 13th, give or take a day, Jupiter is going to finally go direct. Though so that is good because it's been retrograde in Capricorn all summer long. And, um, well, not all summer, just went retrograde, but it's finally going to go direct in Capricorn. So that's good. That means our money can get better eventually if we work hard enough for it. If we want the expansion, if we want the success, we have to work for it. Capricorns are not the sign that just sit around and just wait for a handout. They will stop at nothing to get to where they need to be. And I feel like it is encouraging all of us to kind of snap into reality and to take life a bit more seriously, okay? And as if that wasn't enough, <laughs> okay, we have a new moon approaching us on September 17th, and that is really going to, you know, shake some things up in the home because now you're really realizing, hey, some things have to change, okay? Um, new energy coming into the home, okay? And that's probably what this Ace of Cups is all about. This can be finally working things out, especially when it comes to security and, you know, your stability. That's all in your fourth house, I believe, Okay. Um, what else? I just feel like there's been so much pressure in the world and a lot of families have been going through so many things, whether it's good or bad, learning how to be with each other every day, around each other all the time. Find something else to do to channel all that energy, my love. Work out, go for a walk, go exercising, you know, do something that you haven't done in a while. I feel like someone close to you, whether this is a family member, again, a spouse, a family member, your parents, um, someone really close to you is going to be the reason why you kind of snap back into your reality. Um, and it can be something that they say, it can be something that happens, something that kind of transpires, but something that kind of shakes up the energy here is going to cause you to kind of get back to you, okay? So this is good, okay? This is really good, really good. Now, I'm going to pull out some energy cards here for you guys. So, once again, once the, set, once the uh, sun go into Libra, of course, there can be some indecisive energy here. But I don't feel like that's going to mess with you too much. I feel like you just want the facts, you know. 
So if you don't really understand something, of course, ask questions. Don't sit here and try to be the smart ass and try to figure it all out because we know who you are, guys. You Geminis are the ones who they naturally seek things out anyway, right? Like that's what make them tick. Like they love things that are unique and different, you know, something that can really help them utilize their brain. But I feel like that's just the problem. You're overthinking the process when you could just simply say, hmm, I don't have it all figured out when I can just simply reach out for help, okay? So especially once this energy go into October, you definitely want to, I mean, use the month of September to really harvest, you know, um, getting back everything that you lost, working hard, saving your money. Again, don't spend too much this month. This it's not favorable for you to do that. Don't do not do that this month. Try your best to hold everything that you have, okay? In October, I still wouldn't really suggest it because we're going to have Mercury retrograde. But I would suggest that you go out and have a good time, flirt, enjoy yourself, okay? Go visit some people you haven't seen in a while. Go visit family members that you haven't seen. Get out there and show your personality and just how fun you can really be. Um, even if you do have children, you know, bring your children along. Hey, we're going to go to the park. We're going to go to the Six Flags for Halloween. Whatever it is, you know, do something that is beyond you, okay? At the end of September, though, Saturn is also going to go direct, which means all of those restrictions on our finances and <sighs> the way things have just been lately or tight for a lot of you guys, it won't be like that, okay? I promise. It's, things are going to lift up really, really good. Because one thing about Capricorn, they are very strict to by nature. So to have Jupiter go retrograde, Saturn, and Pluto, uh, could you imagine the social skill level that everybody has been on lately, okay? There might have been like a lot of obligations that you had to tend to. A lot of things have just been weird lately, okay? But after a long four-month retrograde in Capricorn, Saturn will be leaving Capricorn. So you guys won't have to worry too much more about um, your wealth or your stability at all, okay? Um, hmm, I'm trying to think. So let's just see what your energy cards are saying, my love, okay? <sighs> Mm. All right. Wow. Indecision. That's interesting. Okay, once again, there's going to be some type of decision that you need to make. All right. So. Between the ending of September going into October, you want to have fun. You want to go out. You want to enjoy yourself. That is the biggest thing. Because like I said, I feel like a lot of you are getting bored doing the same things over and over. All right. So here we have it. Once again, <sighs> love will increase. Love will get better. Love shall be better for you. But it's only going to happen if you can have that freedom, if you can be the free-spirited person that you are. That is the only way that love is going to be better. But if you are constantly being bogged down by obligations and restrictions and no, 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 I told you no, 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 that is not going to work for the Gemini. No, Gemini needs to have some type of form of freedom. <laughs> they need to feel like they can come and go and do what they want. Um, they need to also feel very loved and cherished by you. So for all my cross watchers out there, if you are dating a Gemini, keep those things in mind that, okay, so it's bigger than a financial thing. You know, I want freedom. I want to be able to do what I'm trying to do. And lately I haven't been feeling free. I've been feeling stressed the fuck out. You know, that is what Gemini is saying right now. And so it's not the, that the love isn't there. The love will return, of course. But I'm just going through some shit right now. And if you truly understand what I'm saying and you really love me, then you would just, you know, try to allow me some time to figure it out. Or at least put me onto some people that can help me figure it out. But I need help, like, now. Like, not now, but, like, right now. I need help. Okay? That is what this is. So for all my cross watchers out there, keep that in mind. You know, a man holding a heart here, you know, with the Queen of Wands and the Ace of Cups. This is a lot of tense and a lot of good chemistry. Gemini, forget those three-way, you know, situations. You know, don't even think about cheating or dealing with anybody else. I just 
something that just can get really mess nasty and messy. Don't do that to yourself, okay? If you're gonna flirt, flirt, but don't go out there and like actually do it. You know what I mean? Like that you don't need to prove a point by doing that. That's not gonna bring you the satisfaction. Once again, watch out for those people that come across as everything you want in a person because everything that glitter is in gold, my love. Okay? Like I said, it seemed like as if <laughs> the person that really do have your back, that really do love you and really want to support you, there's been like a lot of indecisive energy about. And so watch out for those three-way situations, my love. Don't spend a lot of time praying for something and you got it all right in front of you. Be thankful. Learn to appreciate the moment. That's what your energy, animal energy said, okay? <clears throat> but it's time. It's time for you to go out and have fun, Gemini. I feel like you've been bogged down a little too much lately. You've been working, trying to save up, trying to fix your home, trying to balance your energy, trying to meet up with family, trying to take care of the kids, trying to... And then all the kids and recently went back to school, going back to school in September. So it, it's frustrating you know trying to do everything for everybody else and there's barely no time in the day for yourself i can imagine just how stressful that is i know i have a kid who's also in school so i get it i know it's is whoo let's just say hang in there gemini hang in there my love okay gemini i love you and i thank you for watching please check it out in november i probably you know <laughs> depending on the cosmic energy my love I don't want to hold anything to it. But I will be back doing some probably extended love readings for all of us. So, guys, I wanted to share some candles with you that I've done for my candle line. Oh, we match. Look at that. <laughs> for my candle line, Passion versus Pleasure, check it out on g1insights.org. That is my website. I will post all the links below. Guys, I would love to have you as one of my subscribers. Please subscribe to my channel. Okay, and if that is not enough, please, guys, I would love if you guys can become a member to support my cause. For every holiday candle that is purchased, a portion of our earnings will go to a community or a family in need. This can be something simple as a bag of food for Thanksgiving or, you know, coats, a pair of shoes. Something will be donated to a family in need, guys. So we really need your help and we thank you for all your love and support. Um, if you can't purchase one of the candles, I totally understand. Please at least become a member. That would be really helpful. Thank you so much for your time and energy. And besides, these candles smell great. Why wouldn't you want one anyway? Oh, my God. Look how beautiful that is. Look at that. Oh, I mean, talking about eating pie. and <laughs> This is a really good harvest candle right here, though. I love this. I think this is one of my favorites, actually. So, guys, I thank you for watching. Have a good week and a great day wherever you are in this beautiful universe. And, Gemini, be good to yourself. And remember... Uh, appreciate the moments, live in the moments, have a good time, stop letting every little thing get to you, have a good time, bye guys.